Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back once again to the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. I'm Eric Ferris, your host, and today I'm just gonna do a quick breakdown and comparison between the previous generation dual GPU King, the HD 5970, and the new King, the HD 6990. So right off the bat, I'm gonna show you a couple things. This is the new HD 6990. It comes in at 12 inches. It uses dual 1536 stream processors and has a 5.0 effective memory clock. It also takes 300 watts for power consumption and the heat on it is pretty well level. Now, this is the old 5970 card. It came in at 11 and a half inches. It had 3200 stream processors and only a 1.0 gigahertz overall effective memory. It also took a little less power, but it ran hotter. The 5970 took 225 watts of total power via a six and eight pin power connector, where the new 6990 uses two eight pins. I'm gonna flip the cards around. You can see on this card, there are dual eight pin power connectors totaling 300 watts of total power consumption. On the previous generation card, there's a six pin, 75 watt, and an eight pin, 150 watt power thing. So you get 225 watts for the previous generation, 300 watts for the new generation. The card gains a half an inch in length, gains a lot of memory advantages, and runs much cooler than the previous generation card. The last thing I'm gonna show you guys is the rear I.O. So now, what you have is all display ports, four main display ports, and a DVI. And on the previous generation 5970, you had two of your DVIs and just one single display port. I hope you guys liked this really quick comparison video. A lot of you guys have asked for these type of things, so we went ahead and did one. Today we compared the previous generation king of the dual GPU cards, the HD 5970, to the new king, the 6990. Just a couple quick facts. New 6990, 12 inches long. Previous generation, 11 and a half inches long. This one takes 300 watts of power. This one takes 225 watts of power. This one had a lower temperature. Previous generation had a higher temperature. The older generation card had 3200 stream processors. The new generation has dual 2x1536 stream processors, but also has a 5.0 gigahertz memory clock speed compared to a 1.0 effective memory clock speed. So there's a big difference in that. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on YouTube.